What's up guys? I'm super excited today. I have finally gotten in the last piece for my Sega Genesis. Um, a couple months ago, my aunt uh, had one at her house that she wasn't doing anything with. So I said, I would love to have it. I would love to hook it up to my TV, play some old, old video games from the Sega Genesis time frame. Um, she actually had a Sega Genesis, Sega CD combo. So it's a little different. Um, but today I went to a local store and picked up the RF adapter. Uh, it's a little old school uh, video game store called Max Video Games in Ackworth. They had this for only three bucks, so that was the last thing that I needed. Now that I have that, I can show you everything that I have. I'm going to try to hook it up to my 55 inch Samsung 3D TV and let's see what uh, Sonic look like on, looks like on there. All right, so here is the box. Uh, what all do we have in here? So this is the actual Sega CD and Sega Genesis combo. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it works because uh, I never used one. I used one of these many, many times. Had one myself. Lost it in storage along with all my other video game stuff. Um, a few extra little ports on the back here a mixing port, the power adapter, and a line out for a uh, left and right audio and then that's just the normal AV video um, and power adapter for the Sega Genesis. Um, it's way bigger than I really expected but uh, it's what you get with technology from 1993-94. Uh, Alright, what else do we have? controller back when controllers were simple ABC start button uh, directional pad wow giant power bricks glad these things are open. Uh, this is a Sega CD game uh, Mortal Kombat um, these were CDs of course not DVDs so they were limited to the CD size um, which of course is not very big, but I think it may have been bigger than what they could put into these at the time. But I actually don't know for sure myself. Um, all else that's in here is a few other games. Of course, this is a game that came with every system. I'm pretty sure it was packaged uh, as a set. Um, probably the most played Genesis game. Um, but now that I have all this, I am going to figure out what's what and uh, go get it plugged into my uh, TV. As I'm getting everything out, I want to note that uh, the power adapters for the uh, CD and the Genesis are slightly different. Um, the one with the yellow tip that's more round here is the one that actually goes into the Genesis. And the just straight standard one here is the one that actually goes to the power adapter down here. All right, so the more I'm looking at this thing, I am remembering uh, a lot more of how they worked. Um, so right here, of course, is TV out, which I wasn't really paying attention to when I was making the last part of the video. So this part is going to the TV, so I should be able to plug that directly into the coax jack on my TV. Um, and then this cable, which is actually pretty long, of course, they did that back in the 90s. I'm trying to do it one hand, it doesn't work. And then of course this cable, uh, which has a nice arrow on top that tells you where the top is, right there. This goes into the port of the Sega Genesis. And once that is in there, we'll plug into the TV. So at this point, I have power for both the Sega CD and the Sega Genesis. And I now have my AV adapter in. I'm about to go bring this into the living room and see what happens. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I have everything connected here. I went ahead and plugged in the uh, controllers. Of course, there's only two. I will say, these fit in there very snug. Uh, much better stuff was made in the early 90s than you get today. Back here on this side, we have the RF adapter coming out here. Power and power, which are crazily enough plugged into a battery backup. That's probably the first time a Sega Genesis has ever been plugged into a battery backup. Now I'm going to take this little cable here, run it over here to this other side where that my uh, coax line is, and let's see if we get a picture. Alright, so 
here is the other part of the RF adapter. I still have plenty of cable left. I mean, I could run this thing another four feet if I needed to. This should, I think, either slide or turn right in. There we go. And it'll literally just screw on just like a coax cable. Now let's see what we get. All right, I turned off that other light that I have over here. So now I have the Sega Genesis game, um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I'm gonna slide this into here. Clicks down in there. That's what the, they looked like. I should have cleaned this up a little bit, but I'll do that afterwards. Now let's hit a power button and see what we get. All right, so one thing I didn't remember from you know 20 years ago, the last time I used this, is that you have to have it on channel three. I should have thought of that. I feel kind of stupid that I didn't. But now, you can hit the power button. You instantly get the license information from Sega. And then the famous Sega. Sega. Yeah, buddy. Now, I noticed that the uh, picture is really quite ugly. Let's see if we can uh, change any of that. Let's see. Our picture mode is set to standard. Neutral, movie, dynamic looks the best. Alright. Kept staying in two player mode. One player. There we go. It is a little blurry, of course, but it's not going to be perfect on uh, 1080p, of course, because it was never designed. It's been so long since I played this. Supposedly the Sega CD had better picture quality. Um, I think we figure out if that's true or not. I'm gonna grab a Sega CD, probably Mortal Kombat, put that in there, and see what they would get. So this is definitely my first time ever actually using the Sega CD myself. Um, I'm not sure how it works. I believe that you just take the disc, um, which actually doesn't look to be scratched, pop it into a CD tray. But it doesn't click down, it just kind of sits in there. I believe if I remove this, close this, and hit this button, we may be up and running. Let's see. Look at that. 1993 version 2.0. Where is my controller? Press the start button. Oh, I think it froze. Oh, no, it didn't. There we go. Nice. My first time ever seeing these windows. What's wild is in 1993, we of course, I can see my food here on the ground. <laughs> we of course thought that this was uh, probably the coolest thing ever back then because it was 1993 and to play a video game off of a CD. A little bit of image doing something over there. It went away though. Letting all this play through just because I kind of want to see it. It's very, very blurry. It's hard to make out what's what. You are the support. I couldn't even read that fully because of the video quality. I don't see much of a difference. I mean, to me, I, I almost think the Sega, Sega Genesis looked better without the CD. Let's see how it looks in the game. Let's get past whatever that video is. Nineteen ninety-two and ninety-four. Let me set this back up. Where that we? There we go. That's the 
pretty image. It's bright at least. All right, let's see what the game looks like. All right, I only know like this guy, so I'm gonna pick him. Oh, this is my battle plan. It's weird to look at this and think of how different video games are now compared to this. This was of course so simple. Um, you know, just a few buttons of course. No bumpers, nothing. Um, it's definitely changed a lot, but I would say it's for the better. I really enjoy it. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm one of those fighters where I just hit the same button over and over again. See, like, I just beat her and all I did was hit A like 10 times. I see a nice little press start option in the top right. Um, which I'm guessing if I plugged in another controller, I could play uh, I mean, two people. Let me actually. Oh, oh, I actually lost. That's terrible. Constantly, oh, 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 okay, let me back up. Oh, oh, she is destroying me. Oh, yeah, I got, I got killed. I always sucked at Mortal Kombat, though, so it's okay, I think. Sonya wins. Sonya just won. I, I actually just lost. Perfect, though. I have some restart credits. Um... Definitely don't really want to restart it. That is it, though, I believe. Um, like I said, this is now my Sega Genesis, Sega CD, um, connected to a 55-inch um, LED 3D uh, Samsung TV. Uh, I got to get the 4K very, very soon, but I also want to get a drone so that I can make more videos. Um, I think it's pretty cool, though. Um, I like it for the collector's aspect. I believe there's only so many of these made. I don't believe nearly as many of these were created as the actual Sega Genesis, of course. Um, so, yeah, that's it, though. That's how you connect it to your HDTV. Um, and it seems to work pretty well. It's kind of fun. Brings back a lot of memories from when I was like seven or eight years old. Um, so that's it. Enjoy, guys. I hope to upload some more. Um, not sure when or what they'll be about, but uh, likely technology or what we're doing on the day.